Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 20th in the series where we're going to speak about one of the techniques in business valuation, which is which uh, uh, techniques in business valuation where how can we forecast the cash? In every second day, we see some buyouts. You know, every day, every day in a newspaper, we see one form of M&A, strategic acquisitions, buyouts. Uh, I would say uh, stock splits, dividends, divestitures, and so on and so forth. We are living in a world when huge amount of M&A is happening. Huge amount of M&A is happening. Because of this, there is a dire need for corporate treasurers to understand that how to value their how, how to value their business. However, and today we are going to speak about one of the techniques which they are going to use to value their cash once they are going to buy any form of company or they are going to sell any form of company which is known as forecasting of cash flows. Now we have already discussed that forecasting of the cash flow can be done by free cash flow to the firm, free cash flow to the equity, free cash flow to the debt and so on and so forth but forecasting of the cash flows without using these mathematical techniques can be done by three other ways as well. One is known as expected value analysis. Expected value analysis. Second is known as scenario. Scenario value analysis. And third is known as simulation. I am again reading the fact that cash flow forecasting can be done using expected value, can be done using scenario analysis and can be done three simulations. What do you mean by expected value analysis? Expected value analysis refers to a fact that once you are going to calculate the expected value of a cash. Now what, what are the three ways you are going to calculate the expected value as well? Now these three ways are base case, worst case and best case. Now take a very simple example, Apple. Apple is launching iPhone 6 and we all know that in the iPhone 6 they are going to cover up a very simple thing that the, the screen of an iPhone which they are making is not going to be a brittle glass rather the screen of an iPhone would be so hard that even if you are going to hit this on a hammer it's not going to break. Now iPhone, Apple know that in the base case they assume to sell 10 million units. In worst case they will sell 8 million units and in best case they would sell 20 million units. They know the profitability of a one unit is say $100, assuming $100. So in best case, in base case, when they plan to sell 10 million and they will get $100, so which is 1000 million of a gross profit in the books of Apple. In worst case, they are planning 8 million and one is $100, so it's going to be $800 million. In best case, they are assuming say 20 million into 100 which is 2000 million which is 2 billion dollars. Now we can have one more example in worst case as well. In the worst case Apple 6 do not perform then Apple might have to reduce the prices from say X to Y and for which the profitability would get down, down to, to 80, 80, dollar, 80 dollar per piece. In that sense you would have 8 million into 80 which is 64 million, 640 million. 640 million. So irrespective of having profitability at 800 million, they would end up profitability of 600 million. One more thing which links the expected value analysis is that in the case of, in, in best case, terminal valuation is very far. In worst case, terminal valuation is very near and in best case terminal valuation is very very far so the best the case would be the terminal valuation of the product which apple is going to launch is going to be very far so this goes in the benefit of apple 
this goes in the benefit of apple on the other hand in the case of worst case terminal valuation is very near now comes the second technique which is known as scenario analysis What do you mean by scenario analysis? Scenario analysis refers to once Apple is going to compare the scenarios for their cash. What would happen if I would launch iPen, I, I, iPhone 6 and Samsung come up with their own product, Nokia come up, come up with their own, own structure, Blackberry come up with their own structure and so on and so forth. So you would make various scenarios for your product. Scenario 1, Scenario 2, Scenario 3, which could be worst scenario, which could be base scenario and based upon all scenarios, you would calculate the cash. The basic difference between expected value analysis and scenario analysis is that scenario analysis sometimes is going to be useless because it's you have various scenarios and one of the prime examples of scenario analysis is we have fantastic techniques and statistics which is known as fan chart which is this. This is the base case for Apple. What would happen if sales would be 5% less than base case, 10% less than base case, 15% less than base case, 20% less than base case. What would happen if sales would be 5% greater than base case, 10%, 15% and 20%. You can go on like this as well. This is one of the fantastic techniques we have in statistics which is known as fan chart. As a corporate treasurer, I am again reiterating the fact that Fan chart may be a very good technique in statistics, but the technique which we are going to use in fan, we basically, why we are using fan chart for scenario analysis is not as good as we have expected value analysis. Expected value analysis is one of the, one of the fantastic techniques we have because expected value analysis will tell you the exact cash. If any mathematician would come and have to define the expected value analysis, he would say you are talking about val value at risk when you know how much risk you have in this case. I'm not talking about the risk, I'm talking about the expected cash. Third technique which we have, which is known as which is known as simulations. This world predominantly talk about Monte Carlo simulations. Now the biggest drawback and why companies do not prefer simulation is that the thing which you have to take care of simulation is known as data series. And data series are of two types, one is with outliers and second is without outliers. Data series having with outliers, it means you have all those data sets, take an example like this. This and this are both outliers. Without outliers like this. Everything is smooth, right? I'm not saying smooth, smooth in the sense we, we do not have any, any form of outliers. The biggest difference, the biggest problem in simulation is the data series and how to handle the data series. And second biggest problem is distribution which form of distribution we are going to use. So we, the world is divided into 12 different distributions and we do not know which form of distribution we use when it comes to this so-called simulation analysis. In nutshell, I would like to retake the fact that besides free cash to the firm, free cash to the equity and free cash to the debt, we have three ways to calculate the cash and cash equivalent of a company which you want to buy or sell. The first is expected value analysis. Expected value analysis is further divided into two parts, base case, worst case, best case, Third, second refers to your simulations, third refers to, to your scenario analysis. Scenario analysis is not a best technique when it comes to when it comes to expected value analysis. However, simulations it never be termed as the best technique because simulation you have to make sure that the kind of data set you should have, you have to link that, you have to link the data set with the data series and so on and so forth. At the end, I would like to reiterate the fact that if you are if you are doing any or any form of forecasting of the cash flows, then you should do it via a concept which is known as expected value analysis and you can use one form of techniques in scenario analysis 
विच इज नोन एज फैन चार्ट यू वेलकम टू कॉन्टैक्ट मी एट नाइन वन नाइन एट डबल नाइन टू फोर्टी टू नाइन सेवेंटी एट इन केस ऑफ एनी कंसर्न यू कैन ई मेल मी एट राहुल मगन एट एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम और यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी ऑन लिंक इन यूट्यूब और डेली मोशन ऑल माई वीडियोज आर अवेलेबल है थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग हैव अ ग्रेट इवनिंग इज वेल